Namaste dear students. I am Vijay Shinde sir and we are discussing chapter number 3 Kinetic Theory of Gases and Radiation. Today's lecture number 10 and today's topic is Ferris Perfectly Black Body. We see the construction and working of Ferris Perfectly Black Body. <coughs> In last lecture lecture number 9 we have discussed about a perfectly black body perfectly black body is a body which absorbs all the quantity of heat which is incident upon heat that is called a perfectly black body for perfectly black body coefficient of absorption a equal to 1 and coefficient of reflection and transmission are zero. Means for means for perfectly black body value of a one r equal to zero and t equal to zero. In nature there is no body which is called perfectly black. Means ideally there is no body which is called perfectly black which can absorb 100% of the heat but for practical purposes we consider black black or platinum black as a perfectly black body for practical purposes so we have discussed these points in last lecture now today uh, uh, we see the Ferris black body. Uh, uh, the scientist Ferris has constructed the black body in laboratory which can absorb 100% of the heat. Now this Ferris perfectly black body will consist of double wall hollow sphere. This is a double wall hollow sphere. This is one and this is another wall of the sphere there is a gap between the two walls there is a gap between the two spherical walls and this gap or this space is evacuated manje he is space ahe yachat nirvat kele ja sakte yachat ji air ase te kadun te to vacuum create kele jate so this space is evacuated then a, a hole is created and that hole is called the aperture there is one hole uh, to this uh, spherical body and this hole um, uh, uh, this hole uh, is acting as the aperture then in front of this hole there is a conical projection means diametrically opposite to this hole there is a conical projection now this conical projection is mounted in such a way that if heat radiation or if some radiations are entering into the hole or entering from the hole then this uh, heat radiation will not incident normal to the conical projection means it will make some angle if it is normal if it is incident normal to the conical surface then this heat radiations will be reflected back and they will uh, go back into the atmosphere and for that purpose this uh, angle or this conical projection is mounted such that the heat radiation is not uh, incident normal to, to the surface of the conical projection then inner side of this uh, um, of this uh, sir, of this uh, um, uh, double wall hollow sphere or this inner side will be coated with the lamina this this will be coated with the lamina this is a lamina what is property of the lamina it will absorb 97% of the heat it absorbs 
98% of the heat which is incident upon it and so um, the inner surface of the sphere is coated with the lamp black so it is coated with lamp black then outer surface is silver or it, uh, the silver polish is made to the outer surface म्हणजे बाहेरच्या पूर्ण जो सर्फेस आहे याला पूर्ण सर्फ म्हणजे सिल्वर पॉलिश ही केली जाईल सो दिस इज द कन्स्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द फेरिज ब्लॅक बॉडी तसे हे फेरिज ब्लॅक बॉडीचं हे कन्स्ट्रक्शन असेल नाव लेटेस्ट से व्हॉट इज द वर्किंग हाऊ इट वर्क्स नाव वेन हीट रेडिएशन एंटर द body or when it enters from the aperture it enters from the aperture it will incident on the conical projection it will absorb 97 percent of the heat and only 3 percent means very small quantity of the heat will be reflected again it is incident on the black body it is incident on the lamp black and uh, 97 is maximum amount of the heat will be absorbed and again it will be reflected and, and after few reflections all the heat radiation all the heat will be absorbed by the body and so this uh, <coughs> this phase black body or this two spheres will make the uh, function of the black body is by using this uh, two spheres the 100% of the heat will be absorbed and this core will be acting as a perfectly black body because the heat which is uh, uh, amount of the heat which, which is entering into the hole all the heat will be absorbed by the hole and so it acts as a uh, it acts as a perfectly black body and uh, since this remaining surface is silvered what is property of the silver silver surface has the coefficient of reflection very high and because of that <coughs> all the heat radiation which is incident on the silver surface will get reflected there is no absorption of the heat and therefore only the heat coming from the hole and so this hole is acting as a perfectly black body now to increase the effective area of the perfectly black body the scientist way the scientist way has constructed the perfectly black body by using uh, cylindrical uh, walls or by using uh, this hollow uh, cylindrical uh, walls <coughs> the uh, the perfectly black body uh, is constructed and for cylindrical uh, for, for cylindrical perfectly black body the scientist way has built a slit and vertical slit here there is a hole and here vertical slit is made and because of the vertical slit the Uh, the, uh, the effective area of the perfectly black body will increase and it will uh, absorb large amount of the heat as compared to this very perfectly uh, black body so uh, this scientist way uh, constructed the uh, constructed the uh, black body by using cylindrical shape and uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, he has uh, uh, made a vertical hole or uh, vertical slit and that vertical slit will have a large effective area so this is wings uh, body then <coughs> then uh, there is a cavity radiator and that cavity radiator has the same function as the ferris perfectly black body this uh, um, uh, in uh, there is a uh, one uh, radiator which absorb the heat and which is made by using the block of the material means a block of some material is taken means there is a cube or there is a uh, cube 
or there is a block of the of some material and there is a cavity created <coughs> in that uh, in that block so this is a cavity and this uh, cavity will be created in the block and uh, there is a hole which will join the inner surface and outer surface of the block and through this hole the heat will enter and it will absorb the heat just like the ferrous or perfectly black body it will absorb all the quantity of heat and this is a cavity radiator so what is cavity radiator uh, in cavity radiator there is a block of the material and that block of the material has a cavity and there is one hole made to the block of the material and that hole will join inner and outer surface uh, of the uh, material block and this uh, uh, the heat will enter through the hole and that all the heat will be maximum heat will be absorbed uh, by the block and it will acting as a perfectly black body now when <coughs> this block of the material when this uh, if you take this block of the material and if this block of the material is heated to very high temperature if uh, it will get heated to very high temperature then thermal radiations are emitted uh, 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 thermal radiations will be emitted at very high temperature and this is called cavity radiation means uh, uh, from cavity heat radiations will get radiated and this is called a cavity radiation and this uh, amount of heat which is uh, radiated amount of heat which is emitted it will depend on the temperature of the uh, material it will depend on the temperature of the cavity radiator means so it will not depend upon the size of uh, the block but it will depend upon the temperature what is the temperature of the cavity radiator uh, on the temperature the amount of heat which is emitted will depend so uh, this is all about the today's lecture uh, in today's lecture we have discussed uh, uh, ferrous uh, black body it is also called a ferrous perfectly black body and uh, uh, there is one point of the uh, 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 veins cylindrical black body and uh, cavity radiator we have discussed uh, this point and there will be question on this topic first question on this topic is uh, what is uh, what is perfectly black body first then second question explain construction and working of ferrous perfectly black body <coughs> this will be another question then uh, uh, there will be short question uh, in veins black body uh, which type uh, what is the shape of the uh, what is the shape of the uh, black body in the uh, veins black body this uh, uh, that may be a short question uh, uh, on that veins uh, black body then uh, there may be another question uh, what is cavity radiator uh, then uh, what is cavity radiation and uh, uh, one more short question <coughs> is that uh, on what factor does the emission uh, does the radiation of the heat from the cavity, uh, cavity radiator depend and its answer is it will depend upon temperature uh, it will depend on temperature of the block of the uh, material and it will not depend on uh, it will not depend on the size of the block so these are the questions so do the study at home uh, subscribe our youtube channel and thank you very much